G'day, I'm Callan Thompson, Mixed Farm Advisor, Central West Local Land Services. Today we're going to be talking about blue heliotrope. Blue heliotrope is a poisonous, drought-hardy weed that's spreading through New South Wales. There's currently 110,000 hectares of land that's affected by blue heliotrope in New South Wales. It's really important that we know what we're looking for, identify it and control it as soon as we can. Blue heliotrope is unpalatable to stock, so they won't try and eat it, but if it's the only thing there, they can eat it, and it is toxic. So it can cause things like photosensitization and liver damage in animals such as pigs, sheep, cattle, and horses. Blue heliotrope's drought tolerant because it's got a deep tap root that has lateral roots that can take moisture from any part of the profile. It's often the first thing that comes up after a rainfall event because the big root system can store energy. That big root system allows it to grow back after it's been dry or even after it's been sprayed with some chemicals. It's really important that we identify blue heliotrope quickly if we've got it. It's quite easy to identify mainly because of the bright purple flower. You'll notice on the flower it's in a shepherd's crook shape. It also has a pointy leaf with lots of very fine hairs on it. The smell's quite distinctive. Blue heliotrope spreads easily either by seed or by root fragments. The seed can stick to livestock or wild animals. It can also stick to machinery or be in fodder. The stems can move by moving down waterways and they can also be moved by machinery. We often see it spreading along roadways where graders have been. If you're starting to see blue heliotrope in new areas, it's important to get onto it as quickly as possible. These patches can be controlled by chemical or by digging them out. If you are digging them out, you need to make sure you remove all the root systems because they can reshoot from those roots. Blue heliotrope takes advantage of gaps in pasture. So if you've got a productive pasture, there's less chance of the blue heliotrope being able to establish. It's very hard to manage blue heliotrope by grazing. Often overgrazing paddocks will lead to spreading. You can use sheep to graze blue heliotrope, but keep in mind it is poisonous and there is some management practice that you'd have to do to, to make that work. When you have large areas of blue heliotrope, controlling becomes so much harder. We look at options like broad acre spraying, which is very expensive. We also look at trying to put pasture country back into cropping, clean it up and then possibly saying improved pastures to outcompete it. Good soil fertility and good ground cover is a really good option to try and control your blue heliotrope. There is a blue heliotrope biocontrol agent. It's the blue heliotrope leaf beetle. Unfortunately, attempts to get it to establish in central west New South Wales haven't been overly successful. Like all biocontrol agents, even if we do get it to establish, it won't be a silver bullet. It needs to be looked at as an integrated weed management option. If you have blue heliotrope on your property and would like some help controlling it, please contact your local council weeds officer or local land services.